Now, I've never really been a huge Porsche guy. Growing up, I've always appreciated the brand, just never really lusted to drive or own one myself. And when we were first starting this channel, we got the opportunity to review a 2014 911 Carrera 4S. And mate, that car just instantly impressed me with its driving experience. And ever since that day, I have been patiently waiting for the next Porsche to come on the channel. Today is that day. Here we have a 1983 Porsche 911 SC, flat six, rear wheel drive, manual. Let's find out just how good the 80s really were. Now this car was brought into us by Short Shift. They are a classic car specialist and this particular 911 is currently for sale with them. So if you guys are interested, a link is in the description. Now with Porsche, the biggest thing to me is always being that they just have a timeless design. This is a 1983, over 38 years old and it still just looks like a Porsche. A bloody good one too. And that's kind of the thing, they've never really changed their design all that much, Porsche, so the dimensions and proportions are still relatively similar. Now when it comes to the engine, to pop the bonnet here, or the trunk, whatever you want to call it, there's a little lever in the door, pull that, then we can come and see this beautiful air-cooled 3-liter flat 6. This is mounted in the rear. And these engines are just so famous from Porsche. This engine will make 204 horsepower from factory. And back in 1983, this was the world's fastest production convertible. Pretty impressive. Now inside the 911 SC, I gotta say I love it in here. It's very minimalist, super simple. I like the seats, you know, they even feel quite modern, comfortable. The wheel design is really nice. Very simple, classic three-spoke design. Straight in front of you, got a big rev counter. I think red lines at 6,200. For being a 1983, we did get air conditioning, which was pretty impressive. And also, the seat controls are all electric, which that is really impressive for how old this car is. Window switches, again, electric. Now, a really interesting thing is the door locks are these little things you just twist. And then to get out, there's actually a little strap here that kind of almost reminds me of modern day Porsches where they try and cut weight, and you just pull that, and you're out. But enough about what is in here. Let's fire this old girl up, and hear what this flat six sounds like. Driving the 1983 Porsche 911 SC. Mate, this is an experience. I tell you guys, these older cars, there's just so much charm and character with them. The gear shifter is just absolutely one of probably the loosest has the most play i have probably ever shifted in a long time but you can do it and my goodness the flat six noise the air-cooled engine it's got a lovely sound this car and the steering on this old girl no assistance in this car you know this is all driver how you want it you know in a raw driving experience this is just second to none. It really is. You know, the brakes are quite scary, if I'm being perfectly honest, but it handles that corner so well. You get onto it, get it back into gear. <laughs> it's quick. Now, just before we continue with this Porsche 911 SC, 
make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell so you get updated on all our weekly uploads. Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's go guys. This car, it's no joke. I absolutely love the driving position. You know, you get those beautiful little humps around where the headlights are and it just feels like such a happy car to drive. It really does. You know, the top down, shifting our own gears. Man, you could really imagine this car back in the early 80s, driving this thing, sun is out. What a feeling. For a 38 year old car, again, I emphasize the age of this thing. It drives beautifully and it handles this backcountry road really well. It's not crashy. It's pretty planted in the corners. It is really a joy. This car is seriously impressive. I did just recently review a 1985 Ferrari Mondial QV. And look, comparing these two cars, the Porsche is very, very good. You know, I've got to say that, you know, this really does compete with the Ferrari in almost every way. The biggest difference I'm finding is obviously the manual transmission. This really could have used a gated shifter or just something a little bit tighter. It just needs that to, to make this a better drive. I'm told that this car will do a claim top speed of about 140 mile an hour, which is about 225 kilometers per hour. And my goodness, that is some serious speed in a 38 year old car. Now let's talk about price with this car. Now, obviously the market for old Porsches is very big. So people love these cars, they collect them. There's a huge amount of interest in these particular vehicles. And this one, it's no different. You know, this is a very expensive car. When this thing was new, this would have cost you $60,000 here in Australia. And to put that into perspective, the median house price in Melbourne in 1983 was $59,000. So this car really was the price of a house. Nowadays, look, you're still gonna pay pretty big money. They go around that 90,000 to like 120,000 seems to be the going average here in Australia for a decent one. This particular one is for sale again, like we mentioned from Short Shift, and a link is in the description below if you guys are interested. If you try and drive this car cautiously, you try and drive it like a modern car, it really is quite challenging. You really need to drive this thing like you own it, like you stole it, and it becomes much more easy. <laughs> She's fast. Now this particular one we're driving today was actually first sold in California. And this was a North American version. So that is why we have a two plus two seat design here. So we do have two seats in the back. In Australia, these were only offered as a two seater. So they actually didn't have the two seats in the rear. You can only just imagine driving this car back in 83, California, top down, going cruising by the beach, LA. This would have been so cool. getting a bit of sound. <laughs> oh, it's quick. It is seriously quick. And with the Cabriolet, you know, we got the top down, cruising this nice country road. You really do just feel so much more immersed in this car. You know, the noises are just enhanced more. You got the wind coming in, the, hear the engine so much more pronounced. It just adds to that driving experience. It really does. It's just
just such a timeless looking car also, you know, the beautiful arches on the rear quarter, those gorgeous headlights with the bulges coming off the bonnet. It just makes for such an eye-pleasing vehicle to see. And when it's going down the road, top down, flat six revving, man, not many cars can give you this kind of feel. Now, just quickly, a huge shout out to this week's Patreon supporters. If you guys want to join the Patreon, get early access to content, videos, merch, there is a link in the description, so check it out. Now, zero to 100, this car has claimed it. Who knows, but let's find out. <laughs> well over a hundred. Now look, I do not know how accurate this speedometer is, but my goodness, it feels decently quick, this car. It really does. <laughs> And again, just the seats are very comfortable in this car. They actually do support you surprisingly well. And steering feedback, visibility, it's just all perfect. Typical German, you know? And that's everything to do with Porsche because this is a very timeless design. And that's the thing with Porsche. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And you look at the generations of 911s they have all the same thing, you know? It's the same thing improving on an improving on an improving, basically the same platform. And my goodness, they nailed it with these cars because even back in the 1983, you just feel connected in every way with this car. And although it's not perfect, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here. So a huge thank you goes out to the guys at Short Shift for allowing me to take out their 1983 Porsche 911 SC because the raw driving experience, the beauty of this car, I just loved every second with it. Now this is for sale again, so a link is in the description, so make sure you check that out. Look, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If so, please go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here, and we'll see you on that next video.